And I'm here to tell you today, if you got a, somebody came in my office the other day crying, I said, look, don't cry to give up. Cry to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain. You already hurt. Get a reward from it. Don't go to sleep until you succeed. Two last night and one this morning to get that up. Just trying to upload our geo filter for the Grand Designs event next week. It's Wednesday, uh, half past nine. Nothing is happening. Been up since five. Had a bit of breakfast, a bit of meditation, done some training, um, and then just on the computer finishing off the website that I got mostly done yesterday. Just corrected a few things on that. Um, been going through the service accommodation, that's what it's all about today. Printed off a couple of pages there of the procedures and I think uh, tomorrow is Thursday. Just going to go over to my gold mine area, Warren Street, find a Starbucks, uh, be there for nine, send out the email at 20 past and sit there. Uh, Hopefully some phone calls will come in from some agents and uh, I'll just book viewing straight away and go and view the properties. Um, can't be sitting around here all the time. I'm still plugging on, getting lots of work done. I got my geo filter completed and um, researched the area this morning um, for the XL for Grand Designs next weekend. Uh, 2,000 quid I've quoted for the week. Obviously I've reduced that down to the first two days. Um, which brought it down to around 250. Uh, that was to cover the whole area. Now I've sent him an email. I tried to discover whether it was on in the north or south hall. So I've sent him an email to get an answer to that question, and that might reduce it further down to about 120 for the first weekend. And then, yes, I will put it back there on the second weekend. Um, that would be my first advertising. For that, which is next week, I would like to have. I've worked out a schedule for posting articles on the macro vices, uh, Jim Ridger, Ricker, Strategic Intelligence, Steve Keen, um, Property Tribes and uh, oh yeah, and Jim Ricker's actual um, audio podcast. So the plan is that I want to take that information and try and relate it back to how it affects property prices and just trying to create awareness and highlight uh, some of the issues that are there because it's almost like not forecasting but build your own bank um, it shouldn't really matter if property price are crashing because you've got other investments that are going to go up that's really what I'm trying to teach but um, yeah so I want to start getting those articles done I've worked out a schedule for doing those for when they come out so they're normally out on a Monday say one of them so I'm going to do an article on a Tuesday the other one is out every Wednesday so I'm going to do the article on a Thursday Another one is out on a Friday, so I'm going to do the article Saturday and then have all them posted throughout the week, every week. And then on Sunday, do my newsletter, which puts links to all those articles on the newsletter. Um, so I want to get posting a lot more on Facebook for TSD. I haven't done anything really there in a couple of weeks. And uh, then, yeah, last night I worked out... Um, from YouTube, of course, how to create um, just pictures with quotes on them. I uh, downloaded an app, followed some 14 year old kid who's got 40,000 followers, and uh, watched his four minute video, downloaded an app, uh, created one on my logo. But yeah, so I want to start creating them every day and uh, using them to promote on Instagram. Um, from the articles, obviously, I'll section them down like Gary V says and uh, get t like six or eight quotes and then rotate them out onto Twitter um, and then take singular quotes and use the pictures and use them quotes on the pictures on Instagram. 
post the article on my blog on Squarespace and Medium. And then I really, really, really need to start getting this set up for um, doing my little videos on talking to first time buyers. So finding my voice, um, what it is I'm trying to teach, uh, educating that. So um, I need to start getting video content out there. I mean, yes, I can be writing everything. And my articles is fine. But really, I need to be getting my message, my keynote, uh, what it is I want to be telling people. And uh, I want to start getting that information in here or from here out there into some format that I can then divulge it um, onto there and then get that transcribed and get that up and running. But again, the main thing is to get this working and used to that procedure. Um, because I need to get the information flowing and all the social media posts up and running. Um, I need to earn money and get properties really. But uh, yeah, that's like, again, I'm gonna do that with the essay tomorrow um, and then follow that up with a uh, cold calling in Bromley next week. I think I'm gonna have to spend two days a week. So maybe it'll be every Tuesday in Bromley uh, and then every Friday over in uh, Warren Street doing one day a week for each strategy, the rest of it done on phone calls unless I actually get the deal with landlords that want to meet then I can go back down if specifically needed but otherwise just try and lock in those days, Tuesdays and Fridays Thursdays in Central Working, that's not a bad idea actually and then yeah, once I can get the information flowing and the keynote done and me understanding um, or just having a structure to the information that I'm divulging <coughs> and all the necessary media and stuff to back it up. Um, then I want to start running the meetups down in, um, down in Central Working one night a week, maybe two for first time buyers and uh, just trying to start to get that up and running and get some, Phew, there you go, handy. For Wednesday morning, I'm just sitting in my room doing fuck all, but the reality is I'm getting closer. I, I, need, I want to have all that in place for next weekend, not the meetups, but all the information churning over and the stuff happening for next weekend grand designs because if I put out a geofilter and just imagine that like 600 people start to google me and they find a Facebook page with nothing there or a Twitter feed with fuck all happening or an Instagram with four pictures on it I'm not going to change all that in a week but uh, I can get some content up there and moving and who knows and yeah Oh yeah! There you go. Woo! You did it. It is pretty crap. But TSD property and that is Victoria Dock for Grand Designs. First bit of advertisement ever. Arrival at the top. And I'm talking great reviews. If you're getting shit reviews, you are going to be somewhere down the middle if you're lucky if not down the bottom you don't have to have some shitty ones shitty photos or you don't want to put photos up for your family you might think they're great but other people think who the hell is that and again you know um photos that are sort of what's the word non non-offensive if you like on the wall and they're hung at a good height because obviously <coughs> pardon me People sit on a couch, they put their hands behind their head and they lean back, they don't want to be touching pictures and pulling pictures down. So again, that's a good height. It's all little small things. This is one of Ben's, he's done a great job here. And orchids, everyone loves an orchid, right? And it's great, you just stage it up there. You don't have to leave it in there, you take it away, it's for the photos. And you don't leave it all, all set up like that for when the guests come in, you know? But you're nice to leave a flower on the table. 
Valentine's Day, we need chocolates and we need bottles of champagne and that type of thing. So <clears throat> it's a great little touch that they remember. And they put that in reviews. Again, this is nice here. Um, you know, adding some colour just with the knives and that type of thing. Just beware those knives, the colour does come off. But hey, uh, it looks good. And the photos are taken, so a spice rack and that type of thing. Got the toasters, got everything in there. You know, it looks like you can move in there now and, and start living there. You know, it's got, got the tea towels. It's ready for business type of thing. And uh, these are shots that we took um, before the beds were professionally made. But again, you know, these are these are professionals. Look how tight they are. They are awesome. That's how they need to look for your photos, all right? And again, these are these are like uh, photos that are not, not in your face, if you like. And they're just standard lamps. Not doesn't have to be fancy, but that there, they see it on the photos, better quality than that because the lights aren't on and that type of thing. And here's, here's, you know, this is one that Jimmy took on. Uh, what a shithole that was. And look Connection died 10 to 9 at night. The day that never ends, 9 o'clock at night, and we're just going over the service accommodation webinar by our fearless leader, Mr. Ashley Banfield. And that's all I got to say about that. Listen to me. I'm here to tell you today that you can come here, you can jump up, you can do flips, you can be excited when we give away money. But listen to me, you'll never be successful until I don't have to give you a dime to do what you do.